If you ever break a guide off of a fishing rod, I will show you how to put it back on in a matter of minutes. It's one of the easiest things you can do to save you a bunch of money when it comes to expensive equipment. So focus right here on this guide. All I'm gonna do is I've got my roller right here. I'm gonna get it started. I mean, I always say this is as easy as sewing and I don't know how to sew, so it's probably easier than that. And all you're gonna do is you just put a little bit of that line thread underneath and then just wrap it up. Once you get it started, go around it a couple times. And in a matter of minutes, you have that guide wrapped back on there. I'm telling you, this has saved me so much money. I have no formal training in this other than I've been doing this for 11 years now, building all my own rods. But this is the easiest thing when it comes to saving yourself money. I mean, the term building rods is, is so confusing because it makes it sound like you're actually like doing something other than just putting guides on. And that's, that's all there is to it. You wrap that on there. All right, and the last finishing touches, you're just gonna take a loop of just some tag that you have and just put it right there when you get down to your last couple wraps. So I'm gonna do my last few wraps. Get down to the very end here. My guide is completely fastened on there. And then I am going to, at the very end, I've done five or six wraps around that loop. And so now all that thread goes back underneath there. I'm gonna keep it, hold it tight with my finger. I'm gonna pull it off, I'm gonna cut it off. And then I'm gonna take that tag in. While I hold it tight there, take that tag in and put it through that loop. And then pull that loop and just pull it right back through. And then it's tucked back all the way under through there. Take a razor blade and you want to cut it off as close as you can. And there it is. It's not standing up. It's the finished product. All wrapped back on there. A matter of minutes. Now the finishing touches. I have my two-part epoxy and my rod spinner here. And I am going to take a part of each. You want to make sure you get exactly the same of each. That needs to mix really well. If it doesn't, you'll have trouble with this drying. But Turn your rod spinner on. See my guide is turning. Then I'm just gonna take this paintbrush and just coat with this two-part epoxy. You don't need a whole lot. Give it a good while to dry. You need to leave it on the roller. I think it usually takes about maybe six or seven hours and it should be dry, it'll harden. And it's uh, not good as new, but better than new. So there it is, guys. Like I said, a matter of minutes, you can have that guide wrapped back on there, two-part epoxy. And that's basically all there is to building a fishing rod. The guides are the hardest part to put on, the handle and all that stuff just slides on. And that is taking just a graphite or fiberglass blank and building it from scratch a really nice fishing rod. So 
That's it, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the water.